Hi all, my name is John Hernandez. I'm a photographer from Barcelona and I just recently been in Bangladesh doing a project uh, where I basically photograph people that are about to disappear, cultures that are about to disappear. This has been ongoing for about 10 years and I've been in several countries doing this for a long time. And for the first time this year, I took Godox gear. I was really hesitant about it. I was not sure if Godox was good enough. I've been an ambassador for Perfoto for like four years. And I always use Perfoto gear, but I was really tempted by the new line of product from Godox the AD1200 Pro. It's really an impressive piece of gear and I decided to go ahead with it. So today in this video, I'm gonna just review how was this, how did it work, uh, how did it perform on that trip and why it was my choice uh, to take this gear. I'm also shooting on Hasselblad, uh, so basically medium format leaf shutter. So that may be as well something to take into account if you're not using a uh, leaf shutter because maybe there are differences on the reasons why you would take one gear or other. So my first take was, uh, I tried this flash and I was really surprised with the performance and the quality improvement over the construction. And I was really impressed with it. It's not extremely heavy, actually it's now with the big battery, which I did not take because you cannot fly with this once. But luckily Godox made these other batteries that are like, uh, with less lithium and then you can take them in an airplane and I had no problem traveling with them and that made a big difference because otherwise basically you gotta take these kind of generators to airplanes. So as I say like the construction is really impressive compared to older models of Godox and I'm really really happy with this and I tried it in studio and I tried it outdoors for like commercial shootings here in Spain and then I decided for this project I wanted to take something more powerful to have more versatility and to have uh, the chance of using any amount of flash I needed for creating my photos. This is a very important project. It's an absolute personal project. If you want to know more about it, there is a documentary about uh, this project, but also you can find it in my YouTube channel from all the editions. And this is really important for me, it's something I do for myself once a year, and I really love the results. And I've been doing it for a long time, uh, 10 years now. So for me, it's very important that the result comes out as I want it to come. I don't want any compromises on that. So having more light gives me the freedom of being able to not do compromises. I remember an occasion I took a less powerful flash uh, to Nepal, and then the photo was not exactly what I wanted, so I had to post-process it into what I wanted, and that's not the way I like to work. So having more power, definitely gives me more versatility and that's what I was looking for. So I decided to give it a shot and try this AD1200 Pro as my main uh, flash. The AD1200 Pro, if you don't know it, it's basically 1200 watts and it comes with uh, basically like an accessory for the light, like this is where the bulb is. So instead of being integrated, it's separated in two parts, which came out really handy because basically for the assistant to hold it on the air, in this case I use local assistants, they not really expert assistants on photography. So they are not normally very good at holding lights, but having only this small light uh, bulb on the top of the, of, the, of the stand with the Okta, I use this one actually, the 140. Uh, using it on the top, like handing it, it's much easier for them than using a mono head that is a bit heavier. So in this case, this was a really good benefit to have it there because I was working in a river and they basically, we had the flash just over the water. So it would have been easy for my assistant to tip it in the water and, and have a problem. So making it lighter, it was a really good decision. The main thing is that it's not as portable as a 600 baht flash that you usually could have, like the AD600 Pro or any other of the 600 options you have in the market, but it's not that heavy either. So if you think about weight, this is twi twice as powerful as a 600 but it's not twice as heavy as a 600. The volume is a bit bigger but I still managed to carry all of it, all my gear with my Hasselblad and everything in a backpack on the carry-on of the plane. So that was really, really good. The performance was perfect, was absolutely brilliant. There was no problem at all. It worked perfectly from the beginning. I never had an issue with it. Um, you have a really good refresh time. You have a really good like uh, everything, like the battery life is huge. I took two batteries just in case, but I never had to use a second one. And I did three shootings on the destination with the fishermen. So it was really, really the perfect choice. I'm really happy with it. I know it was a little bit more cumbersome than taking a smaller flash, but I was sure that with this, I will have absolutely no problem. And that was the case. Anyway, because I never worked with Godox before, uh, I took a second flash and just in case. If there is something happening to this, I do not want to be without light, so I decided to take an AD300 Pro. 
This is definitely a much smaller flush. It's definitely a much less powerful flush. But to be honest, the relationship with the power to the size of this flush is absolutely incredible. If I got to the point where this gave me a problem or did not work or I needed a second light, this would be enough to save the day and to give me like at least some light to be able to do my project. So I find this one of the best backup lights I ever had. Uh, I normally used to travel with two 600s or two 500s or whatever. And with this, it's just something you can just throw in the backpack. It weights not much. It's very, very small and it can be your lifesaver. So I definitely think this kit of having a 1200 as my main light, trusting that it would not fail, but having a backup just in case, it's a perfect combination for these kind of trips. And I'm pretty sure that on the next years, I would do exactly the same. I keep on taking this 1200 as my main light this is definitely now my main light for everything studio and outside it's really a workhorse and it works really well and having this as a backup is definitely like a really good decision anyway i just wanted to give you some feedback on what it was like to have this flash with me how did it work how did it perform and to be honest i think it was the perfect decision really happy with it so definitely would do it again see you in the next video